Leadership of a Man, Part 2. Welcome to the MLC. It's the Mr. Limba channel. Now, my brothers, you're probably wondering why she does not submit to you. Now, there are many, many reasons we can point to when it comes to her behavior. But we must also ask ourselves, why isn't our goals submitting to us? For example, your job, your endeavors, the home you're trying to buy. Why aren't they submitting to you? You're asking yourselves, what's going on? You're asking yourselves, why do everything I touch in life turns into a failure? Why is life so hard? Why did my life turn out this way? Well, this is why you're here, so go ahead and kick your feet up. Grab something cold to drink. It is time for the men to talk. Of course, I said before, this is the MLC. It stands for the Mr. Limba channel. And this is your host and your brother, Mr. Limba. Ever wonder why your school grades, if you are a school student who follow this channel, why they are not submitting to you, why they are failures also? We need to establish this when we're talking about leadership of a man. We need to establish something that is something crucial we need to understand. Our women won't submit to us, and there are many reasons why this can be their fault. But our schools are falling apart. Also, our school grades, our endeavors are all falling apart. Why is this? We have a problem, and we need to find the solution. We need to find it. Now, my brothers... The first thing you need to do is hand out your mission to yourself and to others. Like if it was a brochure, like if it was your business card, like if it was a pamphlet. You need to hand out your mission. You need to establish your mission. One of the many reasons, one of the many reasons, because we have a lot of reasons why things do not submit to us, life throw curveballs, we have damaged women, but one of the many reasons that life is not submitting to us is because we don't have an agenda as men. We have not established the mission. When we meet a woman, we don't establish the mission. When we go to school, we don't establish a mission. Most of our kids, and including ourselves, we go to college and we don't know what we want to do. We just go. How many of us start a business before we, we establish the mission? How many of us just figured, you know what, I want to sell Jamaican patties? So I opened up a store trying to sell Jamaican patties. Do you know how to make Jamaican patties? Do you know how to get the ingredients wholesale? Have you established the mission? Because through the mission, you will know how to create your path. Your school is falling apart. Your women are not submitting to you. Your businesses are falling apart. You're not handing out. You're not giving out your mission. You're not giving it to yourself. And you're not giving it to others so that they may know what you expect so that you may see who's really on your team will they follow your mission or do they stand against you how will you know this if you don't establish your mission on the job is your boss disrespectful is your boss disrespectful on the job have you established to your boss when they ask you in the beginning any little things I should know about you? Any pet peeves? Are you like me? Do you tell them respectfully I am a hard working person? One of my pet peeves is that I don't like lazy people. I like everyone to work together as a team and I'm not just saying that. I also like respect. I like for everyone to respect each other from the top down into the from the bottom up. Throughout the whole hierarchy of the workplace. 
Have you established this with them? Have you told them that being disrespectful is in nobody's job description? Not the boss, not the janitor, not the CEO, no one. You are a big believer in respect. This is your way of establishing the mission in your workplace so your boss don't just talk to you any kind of way. The reason you're not getting submission, gentlemen, is because you are not establishing your mission. You must establish your mission or follow someone or something in submission. You see, my brothers, when you don't have a mission, your life falls apart because now you are in submission you are just following you're smashing the same women your homeboys are smashing you're working the same sorry job your cousin is working because you're following people you're doing what your mom wants you to do not what you want to do you're going to school for the career they want you to pick not the career that you want to pick this is the problem when you don't establish your mission to yourself and to others this is something crucial we must understand. Now, my brothers, look at the slide up there. Can I say it was at this moment this unborn fetus knew he or she effed up? Now, what the heck is that, my brothers? Mm -hmm. What is that? This is the product of a man who does not have a mission. Clearly, he messed with the wrong woman. I'm not just talking about her physical appearance. I mean, she does look like a child from Sideshow Bob and uh, Jack Nicholson combined. But she has a gun. She is nuts and pregnant. Somebody got her pregnant. Somebody decided to sleep with her. This is a product of a man who does not have a mission, a goal, a mind, thinking, logic. He lacks it. Yeah, she does look like a hot mess. I know what you are thinking, like, whoa. Yeah, but this is what our brothers do. Yup, I knew I saw her from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Is that Russ the Troll? Yeah. I knew I saw her from somewhere. <laughs> but my brothers, you must have a mission. Otherwise, you will follow everyone else in submission. There's only two paths when it comes to agendas. Those who establish the agenda and those who follow through with the agenda. If you have a woman and you don't establish the agenda, she will make her own agenda. And you end up submitting to her. And eventually she leaves you. And you end up on child support. You end up on alimony. Your life is a hot mess because you didn't have a mission your boss disrespects you because you didn't have a mission you carry yourself in gossip when you're at work you're always gossiping like a unruly woman you started off from the position of weakness do you do this did you get married like this this is an atrocity where men get on their knees to propose to a woman what is this man doing? He is following society's agenda. Society and the woman told him, when a man proposes, if he doesn't get on one knee, he can't have me. The same woman who's been had by many other men. This is the problem with leadership amongst men. They lack a mission. They have not establish the mission therefore men are ending up in submission they're not the teacher they are the sub to toot teacher and the problem is they are submitting submitting themselves to a wicked and feminine society feminist and gynocentric see if you need your woman to crawl to you in submission if you need her to crawl to you trying to win your sexual approval, trying to win your sexual attention, forget about your regular non-sexual attention. If you want your job and your business and everything else to crawl to you, your good grades to crawl to you in submission, even your boss to respect you 
in submission. Fearing how they talk to you when you're working for them in submission. You must establish first a mission. I have gotten tired and many of you strong brothers also have gotten tired of weak men amongst us. We need for men to understand their role as leaders and not as people or human beings that are in submission. A man is not wild and un unwise. A man does understand hierarchy, but you still keep your respect and you don't end up under everyone else's feet. You're under her foot. She put her foot down, not just on the ground, but on you. She is your life because you have no mission and no guidance. You have no guidance. This woman is your light when you're supposed to be her light and she the vessel. No, you don't think so? Wasn't it you who was singing? Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Only darkness when she's away. I'm not a singer and I don't even know the lyrics. But you know what I'm trying to say. Isn't it you who seek for everyone else to give you guidance? You seek for the job, for your business, for everything to come to you and drop into your lap. You're always looking for a leader. It is time you grasp knowledge here on the MLC and every other brother who teaches from books, from the Bible, from everywhere else. And make yourself a leader. Now, in Leadership of a Man Part 1, I gave respect to the... Uh, American uh, civil rights leader Malcolm X in this one I will give respect to the Haitian revolutionary leader Francois Capois Francois Capois was one of the many Haitian revolutionary leaders who fought during the Haitian revolution creating the first black republic and I'm going to show you the leadership of a man through his story during his battle against the French army his former slave army of black men going against the most powerful army on the planet at the time, Napoleon's army of France. And cannonballs are flying, gunshots are going off, muskets are going off, swords are drawn, and horses are galloping. Smoke and dust everywhere. He's fighting and charging forward. Boom! A shot went off. His hat flew off his head. Everyone was shocked. Even the French stopped. But he said, give me strength. He said, give me liberty or give me death. And he said, forward. Forward, he said. Now, he earned the nickname La Mort, which from the root word that give us mortuary or mortal or morgue, meaning death, because he did not fear death. Even though his hat got blown off. And he said forward. And as he went forward with his army. Another shot went off. Boom. His horse fell. And his horse died. He fell off his horse. And he hit the ground. But Francois Capoir got back up on. Up and he said. Give me another horse. He jumped on his other horse. And he said. En avant. Which means forward. In French. Forgive my pronunciation. I only learned from the Haitians. I am not one who was born in Haiti. And the French general had to stop the war. And he stopped the battle. And they both marched. And they, and they gave each other handshakes. As the French paid respect to the Negro which he viewed lower than him. He respected him. And his whole army, the whole slave army, felt the courage. And they marched forward into victory. Why? Because he established his mission. He was firm behind his mission. Capoir Francois. Francois Capoir, or as his nickname go, La Mort, the death. Because he did not fear not even death. He issued out like a pamphlet. He gave it out like a card. His mission to his soldiers and his followers fell directly in submission. When you as a man establish your mission everything else falls in submission we have too many men that cannot commit to anything in life men without purpose direction or light how can you give a woman light when you yourself have no direction when you yourself 
do not know where you are going what is your mission what is your purpose find it define it L say to yourself let there be light use the god power within you the creative power within you which is the masculine the same one found in the book of genesis when god said let there be light that is vision my brothers now i won't hold this video too long but i just wanted you brothers to know that quick announcement for those of you who've been asking me if i have a patreon a paypal or some way you can donate money to me i don't i never made this channel for that reason but i'll come up with something for you guys so you can donate this is mr limba hope this helped you guys until next time peace